everybody, welcome to Review Time with Islip. I am Islip, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Warbatron WBO1 D set Whirlwind, aka Vortex. And uh, here's his box. I don't have it closed properly. Again, nice box. Nice and shiny and heavy, and the picture looks nice. I I don't know. I liked. I think out of all of them so far, um, Sly Strike or Sundos was the best. Here's what you get in the box. You get Whirlwind. Whirlwind is your name? I think your name was Whirlwind, right? Whirlwind. You get them in robot mode, but you get them with uh, the four swords, which make up the propellers, two guns, the nose cone, which uh, is a separate piece from the helicopter, and you get these two bits, which are never once mentioned in the instructions. Not once. Speaking of instructions, you again get a piece of paper, and look look here are the contents it says contents you got the two guns you got the front of the helicopter four swords robot no little amber pieces and there is your instructions on how to transform it into its various different modes which isn't really too hard and you get the card which is a nice little card okay we're done with the card so we have we have Whirlwind, aka Vortex, in I guess it's supposed to be an Apache helicopter style helicopter. Um, his uh, what do you call it? Uh, it it turns for the most part pretty good as long as you have you have to have these swords in all the way. Otherwise, it will not spin. It will clip on here and sometimes it'll clip on here so yay for stuff um, it's got a cockpit which actually does open up and there's a little seat and whatever that's supposed to be yay as far as I'm concerned he's just really bland the colors are bland uh, this mode here is kind of bland to me, I mean, it's a great mode, don't get me wrong, but it's bland. The colors are bland, the blues are like the bland blue, just a bland figure all around. Um, this would probably do great as a repaint. I would love to see this repainted. Maybe I'll pick up a second one just so I can repaint it. Maybe I'll try. Um, what color was he in? Maybe a G2 color or something. I don't know. But I mean, he's he's fine. He's a decent helicopter type deal thing there with a big gun stuck in the front. Um, which I don't think can come off. No, the whole front comes off. So now in this mode, we have these two things that don't do nothing. I guess I could stick that in there like that and then stick this over here. Or Whoops. I just actually have, this is the first time I've taken them out of the box. I mean, they peg in right there. So, I mean, I guess I could do that. Um, maybe I can peg them into the, the hands. And put them inside. Okay, that'll work. So, yay. Uh, whatever this thing is, storage. Okay. Yep, so they're back there. Okay, so they're out of the way. So he's a decent helicopter uh, with helicopter rotors that are obviously going to be swords. Obviously going to be swords. What are we going to do? Voice. Let's go ahead and take the front off. We'll put that to the side. Lift this piece here. 
unhook that. There we go. Bring these down to the sides like that. And split those. Just bring these in. Fold up the wheels. Thankfully, the wheels aren't super duper hard to do because, yeah, bring that up. Turn this to the side. We gotta. And then rotate that. So we've got. There we go. Flip this over. Rotate that to the side again. And rotate that. And that is basically the feet and the legs all done. Oh, lift that up first. Bring this down. Exposing the head. Bring this piece back. That'll plug back in again. We'll take these bits, bring them out. Take the little orange bits off. Bring these bits down. Flip out the hands, fold these over. Flip out the hands. Let's turn this so I can see what I'm doing. Flip out the hands. Turn these over. And your arms are done. Actually, so is your robot. And then these can just kind of sit out here. You can just leave them on here. Uh, you can, if you want to, take them off. And, no, can't plug them on there. I was going to say you can plug them on there, but it doesn't really work. There's another. Well, there's an, another little thing. You could probably stick it in there. Just have them hold it to shoot it. I just leave them up here. Because... I don't really do anything. So, we've got that. And you can take this, flip it around, flip that forward, and now he's got a big gun, which you can kind of hold. Not very well because of this flap sticking out here, but he can kind of hold this gun. Let's see, can he undersling it? Nope, because he doesn't grip it very well. Underslung, so. There's that. Let's see, can I? Or you could just leave it as a regular nose cone and, sorry, and do that. That works better. So, and then you can take his swords out from here if you don't want to leave them on there. And you can hold his swords. You can hold his swords. You can. I guess this is where the clip things come in. I mean, you can. I think you can just clip them. Yeah, you can clip them right to his arm, if I can get the figure to stay where I need it to stay. Ooh, I thought that was going to flip over. Let's see. I can clip these in here, it looks like. And can I clip you to the arm now? I can clip it to the arm like that, or you can clip it to the arm like this. So, he's got great light piping. That's nothing new. Articulation. You can ball joint wiggle wiggle his head a bit, rotate it. Arms 360 here, in and out here. Rotate there. He's actually got two joints on his shoulders. So, there's that. Let's take that off. His arm can bend a little backwards, bend all the way forwards. Wrist has some wiggle due to transformation. It's, uh, again, a pin with four fingers attached as one. Uh, rotation here. Um, his hip skirts actually 
move independently and you can get your leg all the way out like that and this is actually really nicely ratcheted get his leg going back like that rotation there bends at the knee there um, foot wiggle side to side and uh, it rotates there but it doesn't rotate up like you can't put him on his tippy toes and his back heel doesn't really like it doesn't really do much to support once you get past here it's just loose I mean thankfully there's enough going on that he doesn't really need to you don't really need to have this really there I mean let's put that up and yeah he stands pretty good without it he does do dynamic poses okay whoops spoke too soon okay he does dynamic poses kinda okay so there's that and let's go ahead and transform him into his limb mode. So we're going to take the weapons out of his hands. And basically we're transforming him back into his helicopter mode. So, uh, bring this up and around. Get your head in there. Bring this up and peg that in. Bring this back down, and we're gonna leave that down like that, and that's that's it. We're not gonna attach this down here. We're gonna leave the legs extended and rotate these. All right, that's what I'm supposed to do. Rotate, yeah. Rotate these and swing them around on this ball, which. It's not the easiest thing to do because there's not a lot of clearance and it makes me nervous because I don't want to snap the, the I don't want to snap the um, thing that it's on and that actually just kind of stays right there it doesn't really go any further which is strange to say the least okay And pull that out. Thankfully, that's on a ratchet. You can kind of see stress marks right here from when I tried to put these in there, and now it just doesn't fit. It's just I don't I don't understand. We'll go ahead and do this like so, and then so I'm supposed to turn this around like this so that the guns are facing down. This goes like, do it again on the other side. And flip it around this way. And that is pretty much your arm mode. You on like so. And then make sure you got the helicopter piece back on. And that's pretty much your arm mode with these bits in the way. That doesn't make no sense. Oh, well, that's what it says. So we're just going to leave it like that for now. And then when we transform him, I'll probably try something different because I really don't like that. Maybe if I make them flat like this, maybe it'll look better. Whoops. Then I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I guess I can stick them on like that. That actually looks a little better, I guess. I mean, because that, like the, whatchamacallit was, was out there. 
now you can get more of a bend. Maybe it's supposed to be the other way around. Nope, that's right. So yeah, anyway, we'll just go with the with the arm like this because that looks it looked worse the other way. So yeah, that'll be the arm. It's gonna be a long arm. Anyway, our my slip. We got one more piece to go, and then we can combine it. Thanks for watching. Ciao.